Uh, greetings one and all. Welcome back to the Easy and Delicious Kitchen today. So yeah, today I'm going to be making some um, nice honeycomb. Oh, sweetie. So uh, yeah, and after I've made it, I'm going to see how I go. I'm going to try and make some rustic style. Um, well, basically to replicate the taste, if not the look. That's going to be a bit difficult of a uh, violet crumble bar or as some of you might know it, um, a crunchy bar or both. I think we used to have both in Australia, not sure about the US. I think they might have only had crunchy bars. But anyway, yeah, so just I've just put on the heat here. I've put a little water in. This is just to make my um, honeycomb. A little water. I've got about a cup of caster sugar sitting in that. And I've got about three tablespoons of golden syrup. And I'm just going to gently bring that up to a, a simmer. So yeah guys, I'm just stirring up, um, mixing the sugar into that uh, water and mixing in with the golden syrup. Now one thing you do actually, well it comes in a lot of handy when you're making this, which I brought, is you need one of these um, sugar thermometer things. So I'm just going to whack that in. And basically that's because we need to get the um, sugar up to what they call crack. Crack temperature was about 150 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah guys, once um, that starts simmering, that, that syrup mixture, just leave it to do its own thing, stop stirring it. We'll just keep an eye on that temperature, wait till it gets up to that magic uh, crack temperature as they call it, which is that 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 degrees Celsius. So yeah, just let it do its thing. Um, <laughs> Like cooking crack. <laughs> Mum would be proud of me. Cooking cooking crack here in my um, YouTube channel, Mum. Yeah. So guys, just while my sugar's still coming up to temp there, um, I just thought I'd better show you like you've got to have it's important that you have everything ready to go for this. So I've got my um tray here, lined with some baking paper, and I've sort of I'll see how this goes, I've sort of shaped the paper to sort of loosely form it into a uh, sort of long bar shape, but that might not go to plan and if it doesn't well that's just fitting in with the theme of my rustic bars anyway and I've got here two teaspoons of bicarbonate soda ready to go into my um, sugar mix when it's up to temperature because that's what's going to give us our aeration bubbles alrighty I'll see you soon alright guys um, yeah so my uh, mixes up to uh, temp there. Let's just hit the 300. So what I'll do, we've got to work quick here. So I'll just quickly move it off the heat. Just move that too so you can see what's going on. Alrighty, I'll take the uh, thermometer out. Now at this stage too guys, just be extremely, extremely careful of that um, sugar because it's just like lava. Alright, in goes the bicarb. And we'll just quickly stir that through. Do its thing. Alright, so working quickly here, we'll just grab our um, toffee mixture here and I'm just going to quickly whip it into my tray here and don't try and push it in, just let it sit in there, guys. And like I say, this is going to be rough as and just as I also said just don't be tempted to touch this at all don't stick your fingers in it anything like that because it's it is at literally like lava And I'll just leave that to set now for probably an hour or two, just till it's completely cool. 
Alrighty, I'll see you in an hour or two. Alrighty guys, here we are, um, yeah, a couple of hours later, so, um, yeah, first thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, simmer some water here, and the reason I'm going to simmer water is I've got here some dark chocolate that I'm going to melt, gently, so, yeah, we'll leave that to it. So while that's going, I'll also um, show you where I'm up to with the... So yeah, I've got my um, big long bar of honeycomb here. So what I'm going to do, I've, what I've decided to do, is I'm just going to try and cut it into pieces like this. Now it's going to sort of shatter in, I can see already, it's going to shatter in sort of strange sort of shapes, but that's okay. There's no problem with that. I'll just... Um, Whatever I end up with, that's what I'm going to work with. So, oh, it just breaks apart easy like that. So, yeah, I'll just show you. Is that focus? So you can see it's lots nice and aerated in there. That feels really nice and light. So that's a piece about that big, a bit of a square like that. So. <laughs> if I can get all squares here like that, it'll be a miracle, but we'll see how we go. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, so there's a there's another one. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and shattery. But yeah, that's the desired result. That's a like a how I remember a violet crumble anyway. So yeah, I'll just keep cutting this up and get back here. Alrighty guys, yeah. So I've got my um, dark chocolate here melted down. Uh, looks really good. I'm not really an expert at this, but um, I know some people do it in the microwave. I haven't actually got a microwave, so I did it the old fashioned way with the steam water and that, and it's worked. The main thing to do, I, and everyone probably knows this better than I do, because I'm not really a chocolate man, but don't let any moisture get into that chocolate or it seizes up. Alright, <laughs> basic. So, yeah, let's just get a piece of our honeycomb, drop it in there, just cover it all up with that hot chocolate. Bow, 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 bow. Hot chocolate, I always think of you sexy thing. And <laughs> probably shouldn't, but it's the first thing that comes to mind, hot chocolate. Alright, so I've covered that in chocolate and I'm just going to put this on some baking paper there that I've also lightly oiled. So I'm just going to keep doing that with these fellas. Believe in miracle way from you sex thing. Alright, I'll keep going with these and I'll keep singing to myself. I have had a beer, so that might explain the singing. Alright, I'll finish these off. I'll get them in the fridge just to um, harden that chocolate up and I'll get back to you with the tasting. Um, yeah, I was just thinking, um, yeah, just one more little touch to these that I think I'm going to do just to make them my own because they are for me is I've just got a little bit of um, sea salt here and yes, I am going to do it. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit, not too much, just a little squeeze on the top of each one. Just like that, because I just just per, that's just for me personally. I just love um a bit of salt and chocolate, but that's entirely optional, guys. Do, don't do that if you don't like um, that salt and chocolate flavour. All right, whack them in the fridge now, and I'll see you shortly. All right, so my honey comb uh, chocolate bars are ready to go. Call them what you want. Um, I'm sure. Uh, Violet Crumble and Crunchy are copyrighted, so 
that's not what they're called <laughs> uh, but that's the flavor I was going for so um, but yeah I've tweaked it a bit obviously and that salt and the dark chocolate let's just try one eh? let's see what they uh, what it tastes like Yum. Okay, guys. I don't know if you like vault crumble bars, country bars, but that's what I was craving. That's what I was aiming for. And man, that's exactly what I got. <laughs> just tastes absolutely just like one, and probably even better. Because <laughs> of that, oh, I think that's because I like the dark chocolate and I like that little hint of salt too. Alrighty, thanks for watching this one. Um, thanks to the subscribers that have subscribed to the channel. Sorry about the uh, singing before. Um, promise not to do it too often. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed and you've watched this far, yeah, just hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you nothing. Uh, I'd really appreciate it, but yeah, if you don't want to, no problems either. Alrighty guys, I'll see you all next time.